Hex is the world's most advanced platform for collaborative analytics and data science. I'm going to walk you through how to use Hex to answer complex data questions and build a beautiful interactive data app like this one that answers the question, how can we reduce churn? We'll start by looking for some data. Hex's data browser integrates data from your warehouse, your DBT models, and our own metadata store. And once you find what you're looking for, you can add it to a new project with one click. I'll rename this table result and go grab another table about our subscriptions. And notice I'm not writing any SQL, just exploring data visually and clicking to add tables. Okay, so now we're in the notebook view of a hex project. I have access to all these different types of cells from SQL to Python, pivots, filters, and more. Here, I'm writing some queries and chaining them together to explore and reshape this data. And Hex's SQL cells let you run queries not just against warehouse tables, but against the output of any other cell in a project. They have caching, autocomplete, all the usual bells and whistles, and intelligent database pushdown modes that let you work with billions of rows of data. I can dig into the output of this query with a drag and drop chart cell, which makes it easy to build really rich visualizations. And this chart is wired directly into the SQL output, which is coming from our data warehouse. So no matter how big this data set is, I'll be able to aggregate and display all the data. Once I've configured this one to look at workspace churn, I'll quickly duplicate it and tweak the new one to look at revenue churn instead. And it looks like our enterprise segment is responsible for the majority of our revenue churn. I'm gonna write some more SQL queries to cohort this differently and calculate retention over time. You'll notice that I'm mixing and matching code and no code freely. This is the most efficient way for technical users to work in Hex, but less technical folks can still use Hex, relying entirely on no code or using spreadsheet functions, which are available in every single table environment in Hex. No code or less technical users can still do everything from pulling data right out of the warehouse to reshaping, transforming it, and building visualizations. And there's one more way to work in Hex, which is with AI assistance. Hex's magic AI tools are tightly integrated into the notebook. If I want to explore a different direction, I can just ask for what I want in natural language, mentioning specific data frames or warehouse tables to guide generations. Hex will use a ton of metadata to write accurate SQL that hits the right tables in the warehouse, reshapes the results in more chain cells, and then builds a chart that shows exactly what I asked for. You can use these AI tools to generate new code, but also to edit existing charts, code, and queries with an integrated diff view, or just automatically fix any errors you come across. This isn't a magic AI analyst that'll replace humans, it's a massive power up to your existing development workflows. Okay, so we've sort of answered our question. I've chained together SQL, Python, and a bunch of visual cells to get a picture of the kinds of customers that are churning the most. Instead of dumping out some screenshots or making a simple static dashboard, I'm gonna turn this ad hoc exploration work into a beautiful interactive data app. So I'm gonna add a couple of input parameters to make these SQL queries dynamic. This is as easy as dragging and dropping and adding a couple of lines of code to my query. I can set up each input parameter to be dynamic, accepting the input from earlier SQL cells. Here, I'm feeding this input parameter with the results of an intermediate Python cell to get all the column names. Okay, I've got all my input parameters set up and it's time to actually parameterize this query. I'm gonna go beyond just filtering and give stakeholders the ability to actually slice and dice the segments being displayed any way they want. This will let each individual user drill in on a specific subset of customers that they know how to engage, and it means I won't have to make multiple reports. And Hex has classic drag and drop filters, but it also gives you the ability to create these kinds of incredibly custom dynamic queries. Okay, now it's time to actually build this app. Hex makes it easy to build any kind of report or app with a drag and drop builder. We'll make a sort of ultra flexible dashboard, something halfway between a dashboard and an explore interface. I've added our inputs, I'm organizing everything neatly and adding some context and headings, and I'll make sure that all the charts and sections look good. 
This app builder interface is actually an entire notebook editor interface in its own right. You can see I can add everything from text to SQL queries and edit every single cell here. More than just resizing, I can actually edit the contents and the configuration. Okay, this looks great. So I'm gonna hit publish. And this is such a great project. I'm gonna mark it as trusted, which means that I'll need a peer review in order to publish. I'm gonna ask a colleague for a review and she'll be able to see a nice diff view of both my code updates and the resulting data changes and approve my work or request changes if there's anything that she'd like to see different. Looks like she's approved my work and we're all published. Now, the really cool thing is that the next time anyone has this question and searches churn in hex, they'll see the app that I just built with a nice description, a clear trusted status, and they'll be able to self-serve their way to a decision. And if a user has more questions, every single element in a Hex app can be drilled into and used as a jumping off point for further exploration, either with stakeholder-friendly spreadsheet functions and no-code tools, or with SQL and Python code in a brand new project for deeper, complex exploration. That's the power of Hex seamlessly going from a quick data question to a super technical deep dive, and then effortlessly reshaping that work into a trusted interactive report that anyone in the company can use to make better decisions with data.